Hi viewers, welcome to another rambling episode with yours truly. Unfortunately, uh, this week it's not going to be reboot. I know, I know. As much as I would love to go through mainframe on ice physics, I just, I'm not feeling it, man. It's a training experience, like I said. I just haven't been in the mood to record some more reboot. And I should, but again, as I've stated in the past, it's a training experience. And you guys might not understand that, but hey, that's not your fault, you know. Eventually, I'll get back to it. Um, that, that's kind of how I'm feeling. If I can be brutally honest, whoever's listening to this, you know, that's, that's how I feel generally inside. And I'm being super honest. But at the same time, I didn't really want to, like, halt the whole process of doing these rambling parts. And I mean, like... There is more to it than just, like, trying to build up the motivation to do a reboot. I mean, that that's, like, 75%. The 25% remaining was, uh, there was, there's plans to try to get, like, guests and do a, let's, like, hang in with Gildam. Doing some of those where it's, like, I bring in a, a guest to, like, kind of just co-commentate these rambling parts. And, I mean, that's really the only difference between this and that. But on the other hand, like, things happened that got canceled, so it's kind of like, oh man, now I gotta motivate myself to do a rambling part with Reboot, and it's like, I, I can't keep doing that, you know, I can't keep, like, pushing it back, and as much as, like, I guess this is kind of doing that, it's, it's like going halfway, you know, I'm, I'm meeting you halfway, I'm doing the thing where I'm rambling, uh, and granted, it's not Reboot, it's probably Stardew Valley, I don't actually have the gameplay like at hand but uh chances are that's what i got going on on screen so um unless it i happen to have like the sun craving for something else i guess it's something else but as memory serves it's probably gonna be stardew valley because that's a very therapeutic video and i like it and you know i've been i've been in the mood to do a certain thing and i'll talk about that in a second but you know regardless i, I apologize that this isn't reboot just not feeling it <laughs> I guess I just owed that to you guys and I had to get that off my chest. Because what other way am I going to talk about my problems than these videos? I mean, they're very vloggish in a lot of ways. But at the same time, you know, really they're more like a counseling session where I'm just talking about anything on my mind. And there are things that I got to talk about. Things that I have that I haven't really talked about. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, man, it would really be good to actually kind of convey what's on my mind. But... <laughs> Uh, the motivation just wasn't there to do what I normally do. And speaking of which, I guess, you know, I this is my own segment. I could do whatever I want with it, but that's not really what I'm trying to portray with the whole s me doing this. I guess I I'm thinking of, like, kind of changing this up. I mean, generally speaking, it was kind of like a let's play, but at the same time, uh, maybe I don't want to focus on the game that I'm doing. Maybe I want to mix it up. So uh, maybe I got to kind of rebrand the whole rambling thing, but it's still going to be less rambling. I just, I, I don't know. It's a, I guess I'm going back to the drawing board on like title wise, but it's still going to be less ramble. Uh, anyways, all that said, all that said, I'm, I'm, I'm digressing into like the real meat and potatoes. Uh, something else on my mind. Because, like, there's two other topics that come to mind for this session. Uh, one of those happens to be the fact that uh, I have a 10-year reunion. I got invited to a 10-year reunion. That happened a couple weeks ago. I was going to bring it up. It didn't happen. Uh, I And you know what? I'm fine with that. It's all good in the hood, baby. Because let me tell you something. Uh, at, like, fuck the 10-year reunion. <laughs> okay. To be fair, I wasn't originally, like, opposed to the 10-year reunion. I, actually, I was thinking about going for, like, the longest time because I knew it was kind of coming up. And I knew some people were talking about it. And there was, like, this whole Facebook page dedicated to it. But for the longest time, no one knew what they were going to do. Like, there was people on it. Like, it was a it was a created page where, like, a lot of the alumni from my year... A lot of my old classmate chums were there, like, discussing it, being like, Yeah, the 10-year reunion! We're excited! But then, uh, no one actually wanted to step up and be like, Uh, here's the event for it! We're all planned out! Uh, no one wanted to do that. So basically, it was just a page where everyone's like, Man, I can't wait for the 10-year reunion! Uh, but no one knew what we were doing, so it, it was kind of like, this, this is a really weird moot point, you know, where it's just kind of like, Great, they're all excited to do something, but we don't know what we're doing. 
Uh, and so, like, originally, I was just kind of like, you know, I wouldn't mind going to that, you know, seeing a lot of people just kind of hanging out with them again. Uh, if I was going to do it, I was going to go on, like, a Hawaiian shirt and just kind of chilling, you know, just being, like, totally laid back and being like, man, this is all right. But it turns out that uh, when someone actually did, like, when, like, a core group of people, they actually, like, came together, figured out, like, the event place and got it all situated and created the event and, like, invited everybody and I got my invite. It turns out that it's going to be at this one, like, I, I don't know, kind of fancy place, but there's a dress code. It's, like, cocktail attire. And let me tell you something. The most unappealing thing about that is the dress code. And, you know, Gildan doesn't really do the fancy dressing, dress living style. You know, I, I'm not about the suits and ties because I'm a blue collar man and I like wearing blue collar shirts and stuff like that. Mainly the whole uh, normal situation, t-shirts, shorts, jeans, what have you. Uh, and, you know, like for me, fancy clothes are essentially new work shirts. And I work at a warehouse, so I mean, take that as you will. But my point is, uh, not really all into the suits and ties, and not really into the fancy clothes, and don't really want to rent a tux or anything like that. So, uh, you know, screw it. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to go to the ten year reunion. You can shove that up. You can shove that where the sun don't shine or something along those lines. Cause I ain't gonna go to no dress code. Gillum don't want to do that. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Uh, but to be fair, there would be two reasons I would go despite my thoughts on this whole dress code thing. Uh, and both those reasons are not going to happen, so, you know, for reals, I'm not doing it. <laughs> See, I have this friend. I've talked about him previously. He moved to North Carolina, and that's like the biggest reason why he's not going. Uh, that and the fact that he already decided ahead in advance that he wasn't going to go to it. You know, he just wasn't like there he just wasn't feeling it he just doesn't really care so you know that that's one reason why i wasn't gonna go the other reason is i have this other friend who i i care deeply about and like i hang out with them every now and then and like we have fun in fact i have a video with them uh if if i remember to like link the thing you know there's a guard right in the top right corner or something like that i don't know you guys go check that out go go things it's like super like early style like gildum esque like footage i didn't really have a capture card back then i mean we're talking a long time ago you know it's like six plus years ago uh depending on when you're watching this if you're watching this yeah i guess it's all irrelevant but my point is uh they're my other reason for why like would actually go to my 10-year reunion and it turns out that you know they're they're just not really feeling it they're just their heart's not into it you know, as much as, like, they kind of have the same mindset where it would be cool to kind of see everybody, uh, they, it's not really anyone they care too much to go see and, like, be all, like, yo, it, it's great to see you again, uh, and so they're just, it, it's kind of irrelevant to them, and so, like, that said, it's, like, since these two people aren't gonna go, like, no one else is gonna convince me to actually want to be there, you know, I've already, I've already seen, like, a lot of the people that I'd want to, like, hang out with outside, like, uh, outside, like, you know, life and stuff, uh, confusing my own words with my own logic, uh, basically, if there was anyone I was gonna meet, like, now, since graduating from high school 10 years ago, I mean, like, I've already hung out with them. I'm already, like, in contact with them. You know, they're still in my loop of friends, and I still got them on my Facebook. And I'm still talking to them, you know. And occasionally, I hang out with them. Uh, it's not like it was back in the day, obviously, but at the same time, it, it's good enough. And I mean, I don't care about them enough to really, like, want to, like, go to the reunion, even though some of them are. But, like, they're not really pushing me or anything that it's just one of those things where it's like uh d don't really care enough to go dress up for this i mean like chances are i'd either have to like rent something or or buy something and it's like god forbid i want to spend that much money i really don't and one of my friends actually brought up a good point they're like well what if like someone was getting married and like you had to dress up you know and you don't want to dress up what would you do then and it's like i would dress up <laughs> I mean, if I was invited to a wedding, 
and you know i cared enough about it and obviously i probably did because you know it's a wedding and uh, i wouldn't be invited otherwise you know, I would probably dress up because, you know, it's someone that obviously, like, I just, I, I care enough to actually want to show up to this wedding. I mean, that that would be the mindset there. And so it's like, yeah, I would dress up, you know. this It's a battle that I would actually go and do and, like, suck up my pride so that I show up. And I was like, I'm here. See, I care. I care enough to be a part of this important event in your life. Because, you know, it's like certain things I care about, you know, it's like, I'm not always a cynical, cruel bastard. A, a lot of people at work kind of get that impression, and I, I think I get a whole different impression here on YouTube. But at the same time, the point is, I do care. I have feelings and emotions, and like, I, I have battles that I pick, and certain things I'm like, I totally want to be a part of this. But, like, the reunion? Uh-uh. Just not feeling it. The dress code? Don't care about people enough to do that two people I care enough to actually do that with, like, yeah, uh, they're, they're not into it, and, like, the other people that are kind of, like, pretty cool and pretty dope, and it's like, you know, you're cool, but I would hang out with, I would hang out with you, like, outside, like, in real world and stuff like that, I'd go get dinner, you know, we'd hang out, it'd be good, uh, I'd go, like, chill out at your house, we'd play some video games, something along those lines, have a hangout, but, you know, just, just... I can't get talked into this. It's just not going to happen. Don't have the feels. Don't have the love. Don't have the things. Don't have something to really convince me to do this. So, you know, for, to them, I apologize. But to other things, I'm just, it's not going to happen. It just can't happen. Oh, man. But I digress. Because it's all kind of irrelevant to a certain point of view. Uh... Because, I mean, really, when it comes down to it, you can't convince someone if they have their heart set on something else, you know? You can you can try. You can try to convince me to go to my tenure. I'm just not feeling it. I just don't want to do it, you know? And even more so, all right, if there was a dress code, here's the thought. Because it turns out my tenure is taking place in October. And so my mindset is, you know what would be really cool? is if it was a dress code, but the dress code was, like, wear a costume, you know, wear a Halloween costume, let's, let's get a double whammy here, that would have been cool, I would have been totally into that, I would totally dress up, and it would be amazing, and I think that would be really cool, but nah, nah, it turns out that the dress code, and the dress up, like, costume thing, turns out that, uh, I guess, it's all situated to, like, we're doing, uh, we're doing, like, a prom thing, which was, uh, James Bond 007, something like that, because I graduated the year of 07. Uh, I don't know. It was frivolous. I don't really care enough to think about it too much, but, I mean, I guess it makes sense when you just link all those little tidbits together. I digress. Point is, I'm uh, not really feeling it. Don't want to do the cocktail tire thing. I mean, I'm, I don't want to spend the money on that. But... Either way you look at it, that was something that I had on the mind brain and I was just kind of like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I mean, God forbid I have this other person that tries to contact me to like try to do that. And if they do, because like there's this other person who's like super excited. He was like in my close knit group of friends like back in high school. Uh, since then we we kind of gotten a little bit strangulated in terms of like our friendship. Stuff has happened. Uh... And so we haven't really been on great talking terms. But I know for a fact that he's super excited to go to this reunion. And he lives in a different state now. But at the same time, I know that he's going to like probably fly up. And maybe bring his wife or something like that. And that's pretty cool. And if he's trying to get me to go to the reunion, I'd be like, yo, I will hang out with you. I will go get dinner. I will invite you over to my place and we can go play some video games or something. Uh, but I'm not. But you're not going to talk me into this. I'm sorry, man. It's not like prom all over again. Because, I mean, that was a whole different situation. I went to that and something incredibly crazy happened. And it was amazing in so many rights. But at the same time, I really doubt that it's going to be a repeat. And if it does, well, I mean, that would be crazy. But, you know, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Gil and Kate get convinced to do this. But, yeah, that happened. And so... Uh, reunion or not, it's just, I, I guess, really, my whole point of view is, it's been ten fucking years since I graduated and I'm an old bastard.
<laughs> and I'm already turning into a grumpy old man. So, hey, when I grow up, I'm going to be the old bastard that's on my deck in a rocking chair yelling at the kids to stay off his lawn. Which is probably going to be semi-true now that I think about it because I really like growing things from seedlings. And this isn't a joke because, you know, segueing into my next topic, which is like, so I've been thinking about like doing some gardening and getting into hydroponics. Uh, Grad, I'm not saying that this is like going to be something where it's like all of a sudden I'm like super into it. I've spent like over $500 just getting equipment and everything like that cuz I mean uh that that's insane. And um also I should mention uh not for like marijuana purposes. I mean, Grad, I know there's some association with hydroponics and weed and Grad, it's legal here. And if I got the permits to grow it, I mean, like, I already got someone who's in the business in terms of brokering it. So it's like, uh, I'd already have a pretty good setup to to get it sold and stuff like that. But at the same time, um, it's a huge headache. There's a lot of legalities and, and license and permits and stuff like that. And it's like, I'm not really into that. I mean, in terms of hydroponics, I just kind of want to grow vegetables and, like, uh, plants and stuff like that. Because, you know, I, I like gardening. Where I live, I can't really have any pets, so it's kind of like, it's kind of disconcerting because being the big animal guy that I am, you know, it's like, I want, I want like a dog who's like super dependent that I can raise and like go on walks and stuff like that. And it's essentially just a kid where like I, I can fill that hole that's in my soul so I don't have to feel so lonely all the time or something along those lines. Uh, because I can't do that, and I mean, like, I guess the next step up would be a cat, because, you know, they're, they're also pretty affectionate, but then again, it kind of depends on the cat, but my point is, you know, it's like, as much as I kind of want all, like, the stuff, and I can't really have it, I can't really have an animal, uh, plants are a good, like, are the close thing, because, you know, they're alive, and you gotta take care of them, and they're, like, super dependent on, like, getting all the, the things to grow, but other than that, I mean, they're, but pretty solitary and like independent otherwise you know there's not really a whole lot of like interaction uh or at the very least it's like a different sort of interaction but at the same time you know it's like it, it, it at least fills something of the void it helps and so i've been kind of thinking like you know maybe if i start growing stuff like uh that that'd be pretty cool also you know like uh, what what's better than vegetables you know because i'm totally into the idea of like if i grow it i kind of want to eat it or at least like have something that i can eat and i mean like i, I kind of dig like the whole idea of hydroponics because you know it's like an indoor garden is kind of cool and also the fact that you know when you look up videos it's like there's some pretty simple setups and it, it's pretty awesome when it gets down to it because it's like uh all you really need is like the light source and like some sort of like way to like grow it like a bin with like soil but then again i mean there's like all sorts of different methods that utilize like just just a tote with like holes drilled in it and like water and you don't even need soil uh rock wool kind of helps but yeah it's like um it, it, it's kind of cool and it's kind of unique and it's kind of like man i could get behind this uh, that said, because it's summer, I, I might not quite get into that, but at the same time, I might kind of assemble, like, things to do that, much like I am with, like, this thought process of, like, trying to build a new PC, because, I mean, that I, I kind of want to do that, not that, like, there's anything wrong with my setup right now for my own lappy, but at the same time, it's kind of like, man, you know what would be really cool? If I could figure out how to repair, like, a PC, so if anything goes wrong, at least I can figure out how to do that, so... Uh, two things that I've been kind of thinking about and kind of been trying to get into right now is like one trying to figure out how to build a PC which is actually pretty simple a lot more simpler than I thought it would be because essentially it's just one giant puzzle and I have a friend who was uh, recently doing that so it's kind of it's kind of really neat to actually like have someone else like right beside you like kind of doing it and like kind of giving you some advice on how to go about things and at the same time you know you're also kind of like researching and filling in the blanks so it's kind of like as it is right now i have two like major side projects outside let's playing although like one of them i guess you could say is 
pretty much related to it because it's like the next step up of what's going to happen. So, one, building a PC, I think that'd be pretty cool. And the other thing, like getting a whole hydroponic system, which would also be pretty cool. And I mean, like, I, I kind of have a small system, a pretty cheap setup, but at the same time, enough to actually get like seeds started and then like kind of transplant them to outdoors. Uh, I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but at the same time, I mean, theoretically, it should be fine. It should be fun. Uh, granted, I don't know because uh, when something kind of gets acclimatized to one thing, it, you know, it, it could be pretty detrimental trying to transplant it to like a whole different setting because uh, I don't know. I feel like there's this sort of shock value where it's like, how does it survive? It's like trying to, it's like taking a domesticated animal or at the very least like, an, like having something that's been raised at the zoo. And then, like, releasing it into the wild, because it's kind of like, uh, it, it's really hard for it to survive in the wild, because it, it it's kind of been tamed. It doesn't really have, like, the natural instincts, or at least they have dulled significantly. So it's kind of like, the thought process is, man, if I get into hydroponics, I mean, theoretically, these plants should still be alright, because they have all the necessities, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, oh man, I don't know if it's going to work out as well as I have in my thought brain, but at the same time, I mean, I would like to think... The process is relatively simple because you know you just start them off as a seedling they get to a certain point and then you kind of transplant them into you know a more stable situation where they can grow outside get the sunlight and all that stuff and you know things are relatively simple uh in the meantime though uh what i have I am growing some stuff because I, I just got a grow light today. And so it's like uh, I got one of those hydroponic grow lights. It's a pretty cheap little thing, but at the same time enough to actually kind of help guide the seedlings. Because I got two sproutlings. I got two sproutlings then, buddy. That's right, Gilman has already started with the whole growing system. Because that's what I did recently. And so it's kind of been like on my mindset to like kind of accumulate some more hydroponic stuff. Which is what I'm talking about, like... Uh, assembling some more equipment but at the same time what I'm trying to say is like in the meanwhile I do have like two sproutlings that have grown I think uh, I think my lettuce and my kill have like started at least I think that's what they are I essentially have seven plants that I started from seedlings um, but two of them have sprouted it's only been about like a couple days so I, I'm still I'm still like anxious to see if it's gonna turn up anything or if there's going to be any sort of like in increments or what have you but at the same time i mean i'm i'm excited to see what the results are going to be maybe nothing much will happen other than these two little sproutlings and maybe they'll die off real quick but i would hope not because you know that would be really depressing it would be really depressing uh but at the same time i like i like germinating seeds and i like having them grow because it's like oh man i did this you know i grew something I have somewhat of a green thumb, <laughs> you know, and I, I, I helped it with its life process. Granted, a lot of it's pretty natural, I guess, in terms of like as natural as you can get with hydroponics and a grow light and, uh, you know, a, a sort of, uh, new nutrient, nutrient system, or I don't really have the nutrients. I just have like those little jiffy pellet things with the peat moss. And then, you know, you add water and they expand and then you plant the seeds and, yeah, you go on from there. Uh, pretty pretty simple process, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm waiting. And it's going to be great because then I'm going to get them into a bigger setup and they'll really grow. And at least that's the whole idea behind it. And, oh, man, let me tell you something. I, I planted some basil. I hope that grow I hope that actually starts sprouting because, uh, you know, I like basil. I don't care what anyone says. Basil is the best. I mean, you could all disagree, but I like cooking, and basil, there's nothing better than fresh basil. Oh, man. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I like cooking. That's why, I think that's part of the reason why I like actually, like, growing stuff from seedling, from seedlings. Because, one, I feel like there's a lot more of an attachment to it. And, yes, <laughs> uh, it should be known, Gelb is crazy enough to actually name his plants. So, you know, when I say lettuce, I mean, I'm really not trying to portray the fact that I named my lettuce, but, you know, I, I really did. Because, <laughs> uh, it turns out that I was like, oh, man, I should be, like, super affectionate, because even if they die, I mean, then it's going to be, then it's going to hit super hard, but, you know, if I name them, then I'm going to be, like, super attentive and, like, super attached, and I'm going to be like, it's my babies. 
here you go. Here's some. Here's some water. Cause I love you. And and yes, I named my lettuce. My lettuce is named Lucy. That's right, Lucy lettuce. Cause um, see, I figured if I was going to name them, I had, it should probably be related to like the first letter of what they are, like like Mikel, which I named Kelly. Ugh. Oh, Gellum is insane in the membrane. Anyways, so yeah, I have seven. I have seven little things that are planted, and so they all grow. They'll all be named, and they'll be happy. I'll be happy, and uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will show a picture or something of them, like in full development, and maybe it will be like Gellum's gone off the deep end, truly insane, toys in the attic, etc., etc. But hey. I say it makes me happy, especially in the sense that I can't have any pets, and I've already talked about that, but at the same time, I mean, it's depressing, man, because I, I, I want a dog so I can take it out for walks, uh, because that would be amazing. Anyways, my point is, I, I like I like growing things, and you know, it's not really so much about the organic vegetable aspect, although that is appealing, uh... It, it's kind of like I like growing things and then the fact that if I can actually grow things and then uh, cook with said things that I've grown or at least some sort of byproduct some sort of byproduct like you know you grow some peppers and then like the peppers actually have peppers and then you pick them and then you use them in your cooking that that that's pretty appealing if you ask me or you know basil as i said because you know i like basil and i like cooking cooking with fresh basil well there's nothing quite like it it's fantastic it has a lot of flavor and it's also quite delicious but my my point is uh there there's something appealing about being a gardener and let me Tie this in with Stardew Valley, which, if I rem if I recall, it, that is what's playing right now. Cause you know, need a break. But uh, if I could be a farmer and do the whole storyline of you know, like uh, leaving my drab and boring life to go be a farmer and like you know, have like a farm, grow some vegetables and stuff like that, I would, I would. That'd be the dream, man. That'd be the dream. I'd live on a farm. I'd have like some some cows and chickens and. And maybe like some goats or something. I don't know. Maybe it'd be a toss up of either cows or goats. Uh, but my point is not that one or the other. My point is, um, you know, it'd be amazing. I'd, I'd be attentive to like everything that I'm growing. And then I'd go in and I'd have some workout equipment and I'd work out. And then, uh, I, I would stream. Yeah, that that would be my farm life in a nutshell. You know, I'd probably cook something on the side because uh, I got to eat at some point, right? But yeah, it'd be like working out, farming, and then uh, streaming. That that would be the life if you ask me. Not a lot of stress, just kind of self-sufficient, don't have to worry about anything. And I'd be happy. It'd be a simple life of happiness. And I'd fill all the aspects, and then Geldum would truly be happy or insane. No one really knows. I don't even know. If someone wants to comment on that life, you know, like, let me know. If someone's living that life, it, it's good, right? It's good. It's got to be good. Geldum thinks it's good. <laughs> Geldum's talking in the third person. Geldum don't know why. Geldum has truly gone insane. Even more insane than he thought in the first place. You know, it doesn't matter. Point is... Uh, I have thoughts, I have ambition, I have dreams. Oh, well, okay, I have dreams. <laughs> uh, anyways. I, I guess, all that said, I'm gonna end it off here, because there's really not a whole lot else to talk about, or at least nothing's really coming to mind. And I feel like this has been a pretty good part, as it is. Just kind of getting everything off my mind, off my, off my thoughts. Uh, anyways, you know, I'm, I gotta go to work. Even though this is getting uploaded on Sunday, it's like Friday night and I gotta go to work. Uh, and then I gotta meet up with a friend and go on a hike. Cause, uh, I, I like hiking. I like going into walks on nature and seeing all the wildlife and talking with your buddy. And I'm, I'm gonna hang out with Spider Mikey. Me and Spider Mikey, we're gonna go do that. Here's a, here's a thing on this channel. You can go to the cart thing. And, uh, you know, I'll be right there. Okay. Uh, all that said, I'm going to head out. And uh, you guys, you guys have a fantastic time. I'm trying to get, I'll try to get some more reboot footage. And hopefully everything will be good. And that'll be a 
appeasing to everybody. Maybe. I don't really know. But otherwise, I'm, at, I'm out. You guys have a good one.